So Dynamesh is really only for blocking out your forms. Once you have your main shapes ready and you want to start adding in more detail, you're probably going to want subdivision levels. So here I have an object which uh, has been sculpted um, with Dynamesh. Uh, I can use a move tool and just continue to make changes and you'll see that our history up here changes along with that. So as we sculpt away, each step is recorded in our history. So the easiest way to get this to be a subdivision surface from a Dynamesh surface is to just control and click on whatever stage of the sculpt that you want, which is here. This is in the history. If I had wanted to record it at this state, I would click control here. But I'm happy enough with this, the latest state of play. So from here, I just go down to zero mesher and hit zero mesh. I'm going to choose the default of 5000 polygons. That's fine for this or for the purposes of this. Once that's done, you can see we now have a very low resolution tree. Um, Control D will add divisions to this. So if we go up to our main sub tool here, all we need to do is hit Control D to divide this once, and that will change it from 8,000 or 9,000 polygons up to, uh, to 35,000 polygons. Uh, and then we just hit project history and it's going to look at this point in the history of this and project the detail that was there onto here. I'll hit Control D again to quadruple the polygon count again and hit project history one more time. I'll press Shift F to turn this off and I'll do it one more time, Control D and project history. So now we have a subdivision surface model that we can just go down in our subdivision surfaces with or up depending on what we want to do. There was no need to worry about projecting other details as you would normally if you tried to project other objects in the list because it's only taking the details from itself and not from surrounding objects. So this is the quickest way is literally just control click, zero mesh, divide, divide and project history done. So I hope this tip helps and please do consider subscribing or liking the video. I'd love to hear your comments um, and if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please do let me know. Cheers. Bye.